Hey, what's up my chemistry people? Let's do some quick pressure conversions. At this point in the year, you should be pretty comfortable doing these types of conversions. Important to note before we start, you will be provided with the relationships that exist between the different units of pressure on your formula chart. So these conversion factors are not something that you're gonna have to memorize. All right, let's dive in. It says the average atmospheric pressure in Denver, Colorado is 0.830 atmospheres. First, we're asked to express the pressure in millimeters mercury. So as with all other conversions, I'm gonna start with the amount that I'm given in the problem. In this case, 0.830 atmospheres. I set up my conversion, atmospheres at the bottom to cancel out, millimeters mercury on top. Now, it's important to know that 760 millimeters mercury is the same as one atmosphere of pressure. And again, this relationship is provided on your formula chart. So a quick jump to my calculator. 0 0.830 times 760, enter, divided by 1, enter, equals 630.8 millimeters mercury. Boom. Next, let's express the pressure in kilopascals. Again, starting with the known amount, 0 0.830 atmospheres. Converting from atmospheres to kilopascals, one atmosphere is 101.3 kilopascals. Which I'll together, 0.830 times 101.3 equals 84.079 kilopascals. Boom. And then finally, we're asked to convert to a pressure in tors. Once again, 0 0.830 ATM atmospheres. Atmospheres in the denominator to cancel out, tors on top, 760 tor in one atmosphere. I don't even need a calculator for this. Millimeters mercury and tors have the same value. So I'm gonna get, once again, 630.8 tors as my converted pressure. Boom. Now, before we finish up, let's check sig figs. I should have three sig figs in my final answer. So here, 631 millimeters mercury, here, 84.1 kilopascals, and here, 631 millimeters mercury. Those sig figs never gonna go away, will haunt you forever. 